Okay, so this, this, this is the entrance way to come from my radio room, which everybody's used to seeing, um, with all my mess in there, to what is going to become the new radio room with Riley working away uh, cleaning up floors because uh, we made a mess. Graham painted this so well and then we made a mess, so we're cleaning it up for Graham because um, we're feeling a bit guilty. But, so we had a slope here which was not huge. And, and these sort of slopes are a bit of a pain because normally what you do is you get a 120 timber and you basically, you know, sort of cut it in half, basically, or sorry, you, you do a diagonal. So you've got two perfect pieces. Um, in this case, that wasn't going to happen because our, our, as you can see, our height is not huge. It's, it's really, um, was a bit of a bugger. So we had to choose where the heck we're going to differentiate and we're playing some stuff down. And what we've had to do is right here, we're just gonna, we haven't put this together yet for a really good reason. Uh, that is that um, I want to show you just exactly what Samantha did, because that's what she's going to tell you, that she did it and I had nothing to do with it. So let me just pull it to bits and just show you something. And um, to be fair, Samantha did do a fair bit on this. Now, I can take no credit because she will take all the credit, but let me just show you what um, we did with her craft skills and my electronic skills. I'm not sure my electronic skills uh, play into this too much, but... Um, Maybe Dad taught me a few things. All right, let me give you just a second here. And I'll just disassemble. Okay, here's the bare basics. So here's our little bits and pieces. And this is what we do, is we make a frame up and basically uh, we still bracket, uh, basically these sections in here, we still bracket to the bearers on the bottom. We've got studs coming down the side here. So basically we will come into the sides with our studs and then um, bit by bit, we then, we actually screw these boards down. We, uh, we normally go horrendously hard on nail guns, as you know. Anyone that knows me knows that most things are held together with more nails than they are ever glue or screws or anything. But with these, you don't. Um, these are pre-drill and um, it's just these um, boards. Um, they're great boards, but they will split unless you pre-drill them and uh, screw them. So that's pretty much what happens. And, and we had to decide on a point. Once again, we don't have a lot of space on a, a small ramp like this. So you've got to decide where you're going to, obviously you can't take a 45 from, um, and it's, it's a diagonal, sorry, uh, all the way through to that, that section there, because you just have such a small timber along here and it have no strength. So what you've got to do is you've got to decide where do we just want to suddenly accelerate off. And when I'm in my wheelchair, when I'm really old, um, the last little bit is going to be my propulsion into this um, radio shack here. Should get me pretty much through the window, so that should work well. And uh, yeah, for those of you who haven't seen the Radio Shack since, um, oh geez, I haven't done a video for a while. Doors fitted, um, I've got one more door to fit tomorrow there, which um, somehow I forgot about, but anyway, that'll get done tomorrow, as will that ramp. Um, Graham has done a fantastic job on the paint. I basically worked out, I can make more money at a bench uh, doing something, you know, or, or maybe just doing, a, you know what, the truth is I'm a terrible painter. Look at Graham's work, he's, he's, he's a great painter. And um, he's also got um, all the spray stuff too. So, you know, he, he rolls the, the last coat, but of course these are all sprayed and done and uh, brilliant. So um, anybody needs a painter in Tangambalanga watching this video, Graham's your man, get on to me, I'll give you his number. And um, uh, if you hate painting as much as I do, get Graham, seriously. He loves it, he's, he's unreal. He's just got the best temperament. He's teaching me to sort of mellow out a bit actually, slowly. <laughs> Anyway, so we'll put steel brackets on the back of that. We'll screw in with some really nice big um, uh, ram set screws through the sides there, um, and then we'll come down. And we've had to chamfer. We actually had to basically make this piece. Good on you, righto. Um, but this is a bit that's been planed down and um, to suit. And pretty much once our carpet and underlay uh, comes in here, uh, they won't like this, by the way. The guys coming into the carpet underlay will bitch about this for sure, no question. But, you know, um, everybody has to have their, their uh, problems in life and that will be one of theirs. The rest is pretty easy. Um, we're still building at the moment, so this door goes through to <laughs> sheets of iron. So that door will go through to Sam's new scrapbook. That new scrapbook room will be twice the size of this room. Now, ask the question, why does Sam get a room twice the size of Brenton? Well... <laughs> <laughs> that is the mystery. But um, we do get, not that you'll see much of it, um, it's a bit dark. Oh, hang on, maybe if I just grab. Oh, jeez, hang on. 
Now I turn the light off, that's clever. I've just got my little AEG light here. Oh, I'll still grab it. Right, that's better. Okay, actually this might show you. Um, this is Riley's games room. Um, that's what we're going to call it, Riley's games room. Now, what he doesn't know is there's a piano going in here. Well, he does know, but he just doesn't want to know. Uh, and there's um, my keyboards, guitars, synthesizers, everything. <laughs> um, but in this little small corner over here, I reckon Riley will be able to play games, no problems. But no, look, we, we're going to try and make this an area that's for, you know, for the family to do various different things. We'll put that, um, well, we've got a couple of games machines that'll go in there as well. Uh, some of the retro ones, and they'll, um, they'll be a bit of fun. But uh, let me just put this light down. Um, great, great lights, these AEGs, by the way. Battery powered and um, LED. So um, rush into Bunnings and buy one, I did. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, you might ask what that is, and that would be a very good question. And we've got the perfect solution for it. This is our air conditioning that goes into the other room. Now, we needed to find a way where we could still get to it and make sure that um, you know, it was um, able to be serviced. So we have this brilliant shutter system that works on it and uh, obviously needs to be fitted tomorrow, but um, it gives you the ability to just roll up uh, and get access and it seals when it comes down. So it's, it's, it's bloody marvelous because we, we didn't want to have a situation where later on we you know, have a problem with the air conditioner and we can't change out the head unit or we can't you know, have a look at what's going on. So that was, that was the idea behind that. So this is, this is something that's coming to fruition finally. Anyway, let me just put this back together again and I'll um, just show you the, uh, well, actually I might be able to do this one handed, let's find out. Let's see. I'm gonna do the back one first. Let me just have a look. Reverse the order. Okay, so what happens is each board basically goes in and they'll all be screwed, screwed in as such, board one. And pretty much repetitive how that goes. So I'm going to turn this off for a second because I don't want to bore you with this. Hang on. Righto, so you're sort of getting the idea from what we're doing here. I um, thought I'd just put a few of these boards in because um, you watching me putting in every board was not really going to excite you. As you can see, we've really got this plane down nicely and it's, um, it's fitting beautifully. Uh, wasn't, wasn't as hard as I thought. Um, I've, done, I've done one of these before uh, on my Palomana job and um, a much bigger one though. Having to downsize uh, was... Uh, well, doing smaller ones is actually harder, I've got to be honest. But, um, yeah, so basically, if you can imagine all that screwed down, um, there is through the middle, the sides, etc. And um, carpet to go on it, and the carpet will line up into the new carpet that's in the other room there, using exactly the same carpet. carpet. Um, unfortunately, about six grand for these two rooms. This carpet we use is this 50 ounce stuff, and it's, it's look, it's really good. Love it. I mean, you can go to sleep on it, but um, it is definitely on the pricey side. It has to be ordered in from Melbourne. That's what's going to delay us a little bit, I think. But anyway, we'll work with that. It's been six and a half years that my new desks have been sitting in the container, so an extra few days won't be a problem. All right, so that's how you build a, um, a little ramp to uh, get from room A to room B. And uh, for those of you following the progress of the, the room, well, this is the room. And... Uh, Boy, is this going to be filled up with some gear. Anyone who knows me knows that um, I'll probably fill it to the max, you know. <laughs> anyway, all right, all the best, and thanks for having a look at just how it is that um, uh, Samantha built a ramp. <laughs> Good on you, Sam. Love you. All right, that's it. Thanks very much. See you guys.